Hey, hey, what's up guys? My name is Mutema. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, in this tutorial today, I'll show you how I, I, I can edit photos direct from the camera without color correcting Lightroom and always still make it look awesome. So this photo I shot with my Nikon D750. I shot with the 50mm. 1.8 at f2.5 and uh, shutter speed of 1250 so I saw of 100 and here as you can see our photo really looks so nice and the colors look great so what I'll do I'll start by removing the highlights a little bit but I, I can see the colors already look nice so I don't think I'll, I'll change the white balance so what I'll do I'll just Remove the highlights a little bit and increase the shadow a little bit. Increase the whites, reduce the whites a little bit, and I think I think I think I can work with this. Yeah. So after retouching, I'll show you how I color graded this photo. But first of all, the first video will be about how we do frequency separation. So open my image. So the first thing I'll do, the first thing I'll do, I'll do some blemish removal and clean our photo first before we do frequency separation. So I'll just remove the protruding blemishes. Yeah. So I'll pick my clone stamp tool or you can pick your healing brush tool. Let's current it below layers create a layer mask create a new layer zoom in then I'll start retouching so let's sample here and paint over here sample here paint over here. so I'll just fast forward this to just yeah sample and press sample here and press here sample here and press here but if you can just follow I'm sampling and pasting on where I want my I'm, I'm sampling and pasting where the blemishes are to make the photo look awesome sample sample and paste sample and paste sample and paste you sample sample from a clean place and First, where the blemish is, yeah. Just move to see the this side of the cheekbone. Guys, please follow. I'm not so good at talking or at doing like these tutorials, but I'm really trying every day to make someone learn. And as time goes by, I'll try to be uploading a new video on a daily basis. And I'm, I'm really really working so much because I'm still researching and I'm still learning myself so yeah I learn while I teach yeah because learning will never end learning will never stop so sample and paste on a clean area sample and paste on a clean area sample a clean area and paste on a blemish and make your photo look as clean as possible Hope you guys have followed me on Instagram. Please check check me out on Instagram at Mutemo. And also my second page, that's Mutemo Events, Mutemo Creations, Weddings, Mutemo Weddings, yeah, please. Yeah, so let's sample. Don't worry the imperfections that will be balanced on frequency separation. Let's see. So I shot this photo at 2.5, f2.5 with my 50mm 1.8D, yeah. Let's just see, I think this side looks nice. It's not much protruding blemishes. See this side. See how we can move this here. So the imperfections will be perfected during frequency separation. Yeah, I'm still learning guys. I'm I'm learning well. That's why I'm not so consistent with the videos. 
but with the time i'll be as much consistent with the videos as possible and still i'll have clients to deliver to so i try on every side to help someone somewhere hope you guys you can see i've removed all the blemishes in the photo the reason why i used uh, this nail is because i don't want to maybe 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 i can distort this photo while i'm removing the blemishes on the main background so i created a new layer where i can remove the blemishes too you can see before after before after before after and zoom it again and continue removing the blemishes until you see your photo is even cleaner so my page my instagram page might soon change to a headshot page so i'm still working on that so guys the, i'm working on so many things hope you guys understand and uh, yeah yeah i'm still trying to see how we can help each other somewhere and someone who wants to learn maybe they learn yeah i think my, my photo looks clean you see there's no much blame here so what i'll do i'll duplicate i'll select all those layers then control alt shift and e and create a cleaner layer on top of the layers before hope you have understood let me just undo this so what i'll do if you want to create a layer with a matched layer of the blemish layer a background layer so what you do you press control you select all control select all shift control top and bottom you select all the layers then press control alt shift then letter e in your keyboard and your your new layer will be so this is the layer which you'll use for frequency separation so what i'll do i duplicate layer twice or let me just yeah let me duplicate once sorry let me duplicate once let me rename this mm, low frequency and uh, let me rename this high frequency right i mean high 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 frequency sorry for that i think you can understand right now so what i'll do i'll disable the high frequency layer and then select the low frequency layer then go filter blah gaussian blah so i'll look for area in the skin of the model where the textures are so high and maybe we can just blur the texture out so let's just use this area over here and then let's try to blur the make sure the details are visible but the texture has really disappeared completely just give it something like 10 let me give it something like 10 let me give it something like and say okay so on the high frequency layer apply apply image then you select high frequency because my camera is a uh, uh, 16 bits so I'll use the add method and then oh let me just use the normal method no let, let me use the subtract method the the most used method high frequency you select the low frequency layer and say okay then change the blending mode to linear light right so what i'll do i'll put this the the frequency separation layers in a group the high frequency low frequency put them in a group so if you can just disable the eye the eye icon there's nothing that has happened in the photo yet but let's see so i'll go select the high frequency layer then go to the new adjustment layer then select the black and white then push the rays to the negative side until you see the shadows and the highlights appear even more so then just put them all in a group so the next thing I'll do, I'll start painting. I use my mixer brush tool, and then later I'll use my lasso tool. So what I'll do, 
I'll, uh, I'll pick my mixer brush tool put the wetness at 9% load at 6% mix at 87 and flow at 100 make sure the this is at zero and uh, there is no sample layers and yeah and then select a clean brush and then now let's start painting so many videos as there are so many videos of frequency separation here in youtube so if you want to learn you will definitely learn but it needs so much consistency so i'll start painting with the shadows let's start with sh these shadows over here so i'm using my i'm using a wacom tablet so yeah so this helps me my retouching to be even more easier so i've started with the shadows and then let's try to paint all the mid-tones over here yeah, like that so you brush the shadows alone, the highlights alone, and the mid-tones alone. So let me try to paint over these highlights over here and make sure it looks awesome. So try to disable the, the black and white and see how it looks. Yeah, hope you can see that difference so far. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Let's continue. The remaining blemishes, I remove them. Uh, when I'm through with my frequency separation. So what I'll do, I'll brush these shadows over here. Brush these shadows over here, guys. Hope you guys are following along and uh, hope you'll get to learn something. And yeah, thank you so much for the subscribers, guys. I'm really grateful and continue subscribing. And uh, yeah, let's grow, let's grow together. Let's grow together, yeah? You can see I've brushed the shadows, so let me try to brush this highlight over here. But I'm trying to brush it on the shape of the face because sometimes you might distort the shape of the face. Brush these shadows over here. Shadows. So frequent separation will videos will never, never, never go out of fashion. So any video you click on trust me you learn something from it and always learn to follow all the videos learn the whole video follow the whole video to learn and yeah and shout out to everyone who is telling me on my dm that they're learning that really inspires me a lot and keeps me moving so yeah so guys i'll be i i, I just decided i'll be uploading as many videos as possible and yeah so let me, let's br brush these highlights over here that's for from the backlight and then now let's try to brush the nose to try to shape the nose to look to make it look popping always don't mix the highlights and the shadows because you will distort the image right. i think that looks nice try to paint over here Try to zoom back and see the before and after guys if you can you can actually tell the difference between the before and after image yeah so i'll be tr i'll try to be uploading videos on a daily basis and uh yeah let's learn let's learn and grow together guys well those who don't know more um me i'm mutema photographer in nairobi yeah so you can see our image is like the the, the the face is fully fully touched but you can see the shadows the highlights and everything so what i'll do next what i'll do next i'll uh, brush the other side of the image that's the the hands the hands everything yeah Let's continue. So what I'll do, I'll identify the highlights on the hands first and then brush on the highlights first. So let's show you like this. Brush that highlight. Then now let me brush the shadows and the mid-tones like that. Yeah. Then I brush this shadow over here. 
do this systematically it's a very long process but if you get used to it it's very very easy and easy to do and to yeah to to master to master practice is everything in photography you have to practice you have to practice so many people go buying expensive gear without even practicing so guys practice 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 so yeah and uh, never been told by never never let anyone tell you that your photos don't look good because always learn to accept positive critics but don't let someone put you down yeah so you can see how we how i manage to brush the shadows you can see the highlights look the highlights are visible the shadows are visible yeah that's just everything about frequency separation that's how we all do frequency separation now the next thing i'll do i'll try to remove now the remaining blemishes and now in the, in the in the next video i'll show you how i did dodge and burn and color graded this photo now what i'll do i'll remove the remaining blemishes so i'll select the high frequency layer click the black and then pick my healing brush tool then you use the same process of sampling but this time around let's use the clone stamp tool add this at 100 very soft then just sample sample and paint sample and paint But make sure you remain with a reasonable texture in your model's face. Not, don't just overdo your frequency separation. Don't make the model look plastic. Just remove the very visible blemishes and just let the photo look very real, realistic and great here. Yeah? yeah, just removing the most protruding blemishes. Yeah, that's all about frequency separation. Not over, over retouching the photo and making it look so plastic. That's never a good thing. So let's just zoom back. See how our photo looks. So far. Yeah, I think our photo is really. You can see the texture in the image. Yeah, that's that's what we call frequency separation. You have to remain in some reasonable texture on your mo model's face here yeah? so you can see the remaining is just the real texture of the skin not the and i shot this photo at a very low uh f number so and it's still as that texture so make sure always make sure to get great photos on location first before you bring them to photoshop because photoshop will not make your photos look better if you didn't make them better on location yeah and that's all about frequency separation you can hope you guys learn something and just continue removing the blemishes on this area so in the next video i'll show you how i clean my eyes in photoshop the next one i'll show you how i do dodge and burning in my in this photo and how i color graded this photo so those are four videos coming all coming today guys stay tuned and yeah Let me show you the before and after how I did this frequency separation. Put all this in a group. So, guys, this is the before, this is the after. This is the before. You can see the photo has some very amazing texture, but still very well retouched. So, and the photo has that good shape. You can see with the blemishes, without the blemishes, with the blemishes, without the blemishes, without the blemishes. Yeah. The blemishes without the blemishes. So, yeah.
that's just how we do frequency variation see you guys in the next video as i dodge and